Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Chris, this is Wobonics Gaming, and we're going to be playing a Bloodborne for the uh, horror month on this channel. Um, so I'm just going to do a new game, full playthrough, and trying to take on all the bosses and all the areas in this game. Um, so let's go ahead and start a new game. Oh, yeah. Well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Alright, let's this name, Robonix, why not? Uh, gender male, age, young, origin. Milky Toast? What the? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's go for Violent Past. Uh, Alright, this is the guy. Let's do this. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. You found yourself a hunter. <sighs> oh, okay, and we're back. And we wake up in the clinic. Um, okay, there's a note over here. Handwritten scroll. Seek pale blood to, tr to transcend the hunt. Um, so the first bit, just like a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, Souls games, is, uh, you come across an enemy, which, um, is hard to kill. Who is in here? So you can, uh, you can kill this enemy, it's not too difficult, you just need to do some visceral attacks. I might die by him actually. Forget if he catches up with me. There he is. It's over here. Let's see if we can make it down here alive. Could be in. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. You can uh, just die to that guy, to the wolf. 
and I will take you to the same place as we're going right now. Uh, the lamp now transports you back to the hunter's dream. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> Let's just do this. I didn't realise he climbed up the ladder after you. Okay, we're going back to the hunter's dream. So, like, in the beginning scene, uh, I'm going to let uh, most of the scenes just play out because they are pretty short. In the beginning scene, we, we uh, it appears that we signed a, a blood contract. Um, and then we wake up. We're a lost hunter. We don't know who we are, why we're here. Um, and whenever we die or use these lanterns, we wake up in the hunter's dream. An abandoned doll. Uh, this way we get to choose our weapon. A uh, messenger offers you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand. Blood and beast on in. Uh, so we get to choose our starting weapon. Uh, Saw cleaver, hunter axe, and threaded cane. The threaded cane is more of a, a dex dex weapon. It's got higher skills skill scaling. Um, but you know, hunt, the hunter axe is a lot slower. It does more damage, but it's slower. Saw cleaver is, uh, in my opinion, like the better choice of weapon because you can usually attack before the enemy does, just slightly faster in that way. And then we get to choose a firearm, hunt a pistol or hunt a blunderbust. We're going to go for the pistol. What else we get? Uh, a notebook received from the messengers. Leave messages with these loyal servants to share them with hunters in other worlds. Uh, so just like in all the other Soulsborne games, you can leave messages around the place for other people to, to see. Let's get our equipment. This is a... Uh, Gearman. Uh -huh. You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunter's dream. This will be your home for now. I am Gearman, friend to you hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. That's, yeah, hunt beasts is what hunters do. Is there anything down here? There's a little note down here. Uh, to escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of the spreading scour scourge of beasts, lest the night carry on forever. Um, so yeah, in terms of like story in this game, there isn't much story. Um, so far, we've woken up, but we've woken up. I might get a lot of this wrong. Especially with the law stuff, uh, but we're woken up in the uh, in into a nightmare, something that never ends. Every time we die, we come back to the hunter's dream. Um, and just from the notes there, we we are we're here to hunt beasts. We're a hunter to hunt beasts, and uh, we just need to keep going to end the nightmare, to stop the spreading of the scourge of the beast. Um, and that is generally it. <laughs> we just got to play through the game to try and stop the nightmare, to, to break ourselves free from this nightmare. Um, but yeah, everything else, there is a there is a big like history to the game, a bigger lore to what's going on with all the characters and stuff. Um, but it's not told to you specifically, it's within items within the game, item descriptions within the game, which you can kind of read and try and piece together uh, and get your own views on what happened in this place. Uh, okay, so we've got our weapons, we're going to head back. Uh, back to the first floor sick room. So this game is like, uh, it's been out for a while. It came out when when the uh, PlayStation 4 got released. Uh, so it's been out for a good few years. So a lot of people have already seen this game. They've kind of explored it a bit. They know what it's about. Are you out on the hunt? Then I'm very sorry. I cannot open this door. 
I am Yosefka. The patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. I know that you hunt for us, for our town, but I'm sorry. Please. This is all that I can do. Yosefka's a blood vial. Now, go. And good hunting. Are you still in need of... But I have nothing more. Please, try... I can only pray for a fruitful hunt. Um, okay, so there's some NPCs throughout the game. Which have their little storylines. Uh, you can choose to uh, fulfill those or uh, just ignore them. Uh, but this is Yosefka's clinic. This is where we woke up from. Uh, currently, Yosefka's at the door and she she's not allowing the doors to be open. She's not allowing anyone in. Uh, for their own sake. But that will change a bit later on in the game. Um, how do we attack? <laughs> okay, so we've got our weapon. We've got our R1 attack. Our R2 attack. If I can attack it. And our trick weapon attack. Which extends the blade. So we've got a nice, uh, a nice bit of range. Get some blood vials. Let's heal up after that. Um, but yeah, this is one of the games, like, uh, I've got the Platinum on. Absolutely love playing through this game. Um, it's got some replayability in it. Um, there are new game pluses with this, but they're not. It's just the same thing over and over again. Just uh, everything gets scaled up a bit. Uh, but the thing that kind of adds to this is the Chalice Dungeons. Some people don't like them. Uh, but there, it's uh, it's just something a bit different. Uh, randomly generated uh, dungeons. I thought I was gonna sneeze then. Uh, but yeah, with with other bosses in there, and it allow you to enhance your weapons a bit more as well. Some people feel like it's needed to be able to get through the game for the weapon upgrades, but it's not. It's just an optional feature in the game. Okay, let's go around here. We've got two guys on the ground. Just having a nap. I've got some Molotov cocktails. Um, and yes, this is where we uh, touched the lantern before and went to the Hunter's Dream. Uh, there's the lamp. Um, so if you find a window with a lantern by it, there's usually a, an NPC there. Oh, you must be a hunter. And not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Oh, this guy's got COVID symptoms. He's isolating. Pale blood, you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the Healing Church. The Church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace of the Healing Church's special blood, or so they say. <laughs> Yarnamites don't share much with outsiders. Normally they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. 
Oh, this guy's dying inside his little house. To the east of Yarnum, you'll find the cathedral war. Deep within lies the old main cathedral, said to be. I haven't heard of pale blood, but that's your best bet if it's anything to do with unique types of blood. <laughs> okay, so we've got our first direction. Head to the cathedral ward. Um, so he doesn't know about pale blood. Said find the uh, pale blood to transcend the hunt. Um, so that's our first clue anyway. We're heading towards the cathedral ward, which should be home to the healing church. Okay, there's those like little areas that you can just kind of move along for, for shortcuts. It's just as easy as kind of tear these guys out. Um, but yeah, like unlike the other games from from software, this is a. Uh, a more aggressive game. It's a more action oriented game. So we're, uh, we don't get a shield in this. Um, but if we take damage, we have the ability to regain some of our health if we keep attacking the target. So it's, well, not more action oriented, but more uh, of an aggressive play style. Um, and we can unlock this shortcut as well. When I pull the lever. Um, so now I've unlocked that. I'm going to try something here. This could go like uh, really wrong. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyway. There's an enemy over here. Uh, a bit of a big guy. He uh, does a lot of damage. If you're not prepared for it, I'll press the wrong button there. But if you use your pistol on him, just when he's about to attack, as soon as you see him going for an attack, you can uh, put him in a stun state, which means you can do a visceral attack. That guy's down, two shots. Two viscerals and he's dead. He's, we got some blood vials there. This guy has a chance to drop a, drop a rune for your weapon. Didn't get one that time though. Uh, but blood vials are always nice. So that's where we came down. Um, got to be able to take out these enemies. There's no enemies there. That was a guy. Some more mollies. You that outsider? I'm sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? Lads, you've come up. You'd open the door on a night of the hunt. Away with you. Now. Um, okay. So only a few of those doors. Um activate some NPCs. Oh god, this guy's killing me. So I'm going to try most of them, because I can't remember which one's the, uh, the where they're at. Um, I'm going to try and get a lot of the weapons as well. Uh, a lot of the items that, uh, that are on the floor. If I can remember where they all are. I 
So this is why I like the, the sword cleaver so much, because it's fast. It's a fast weapon. Uh, slightly faster than their attacks. So you can usually beat them to the hit and kind of stagger them a bit. I can't get it from that side. Whereas if you if you pick the axe, uh, like I said, it does a bit more damage. But you have to have a bit more time in when you're attacking. Otherwise you're just going to eat a load of hits. Got some guys with some guns over there. Also a dog. I'm gonna heal up just to be safe. There he is. Dog, I still got hit by him. That's somewhere big behind that door. Yes, that guy can't shoot. Although, I'll just uh, run through his attack. Did he just drop someone down there? Yeah, small bullets. Um, yeah, so we're, we're getting a lot of drops uh, from these guys, mainly uh, quick silver bullets. We're also getting some uh, health files as well. We can carry 20 of each at the minute, uh, which is nice. Any surplus ones you get, go directly to your uh, inventory, your storage box. Um, okay. There's a lamp here. I don't reckon you're from round here. Well... Stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Ah, oh, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> oh, we don't need to go through all these doors. Um, so yeah, there is a shortcut. I'm just going to kind of like show a little sort of shortcuts as well as we come around to them. So when you once you go up here, if you don't want to go through all of that stuff over there, uh, you can break these, break these barrels, and then drop down. Kill some dogs for some uh, easy XP. Um, and then you just follow this this path down here. Open the door, run through here. This is uh, this just opens up the shortcut back to the beginning. Uh, so that's just kind of like to show you guys. I'm gonna head back around. Uh, so this place is called Yarnum, and uh, the people. In Yarnum are called Yarnumites, and some of them have joined the hunt. So it's usually the hunters who go out and hunt the beasts. Um, but then they started when the beasts became too many, they started recruiting Yarnumites to join the hunt. And uh, and after a while in this nightmare, they become uh, a blood crazed. So they uh attack anyone who they consider to be a threat, uh, which at the minute is me. Okay, we've got the big guy over here. Uh, 
hand again. Same with this guy. These these ones are usually uh, <laughs> uh, kind of easy to parry. Just wait for them to start attacking. Uh, fire the shot off and get that visceral. And collect all this loot. We've got the torch. Some more Molotovs. Um, so you saw in the beginning in, in the intro sequence as well, there was the, the beast that kind of like clawed its way up through the pool of blood and then got uh, vanquished by the flame. So probably general knowledge anyway, beasts are uh, more susceptible to fire. Is there a way down there? Can we get down this bit? Um, yeah, so they take more damage from fire. They're also, some of them are also scared of fire. So we can use that a little bit later. Is there anything down here? No. On the other side. song. Just wait for these to come down. Don't know why I'm struggling with these dogs so much. It's usually uh, with these dogs they'll uh, they'll lunge twice. They just do uh, two back steps and then attack. But I've got to take this guy out. Maybe just one back step and then uh, walk backwards. Oh, I didn't realise that though. If we go down... It's playing from this house. 